Thanks for watching Sound Fest. Bitch. Welcome to my channel. Bitch. <laughs> no, we're not talking about Scary Terry. We're not talking about any other dream demon you could think of today. We're talking about Freddy fucking Krueger. All right. I might as well just get it out of the way. Today we're going to review A Nightmare on Elm Street from 1984. Written and directed by the godlike, late, great Wes Craven. Make some noise for Wes Craven. Can you dig it? So, how the fuck can I... I mean, this PJ, this is one of the most cliche horror movies you could ever re review. Yeah, yeah, I mean, couldn't you have picked something more obscure? Of course I could. But the point is... This is Friday. You fucked up. You I'm fucked sorry, up. this is Saturday. You fucked up. Yesterday was Friday. Oh my god, I'm getting my days mixed up. The salmon shit. The fucking salmon shit's rotting my brain. I'm eating candy constantly, watching horror movies constantly. I'm not drinking any water. I've slept a total of eight hours in the last couple weeks. So, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes, I'm going to review this. I don't care how cliche it is. It's one of the greatest horror movies to ever, 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 ever be released. So let's start off with the nits and gritty here on the Witch's Titty here at Salmon Fest. Okay, okay. Wes Craven, I've, I think I've sucked his cock long enough. Metaphorically, metaphorically. This, this guy, he did Swamp Thing. He did Serpent in the Rainbow. He's responsible for the Scream. The Scream franchise. And what else? I mean, this guy's just... A legend and God bless his heart he died a while back and uh, he wrote this movie of course everyone knows what this movie is about it's about this guy who was a child murderer so the town's parents cornered him in a boiler room burned him to death and after that before he died he vowed he vowed to kill all the children of the town in their dreams he was going to invade their nightmares and take him out that way and somehow he lived up to his promise Kids start turning up dead. Was it Freddy Krueger? Could have been the guy. Hey, I had these dreams about this guy with knife hands. Yeah, he had knives for fingers. He had burnt skin. He had a smelly old sweater on. He had poop on his boots, though. Huh? Freddy Krueger. So, here we go. Who's starring in this motherfucker? Of course, starring Freddy Krueger, Robert fucking England. God bless this man. He is a horror icon. He's a horror champion. He is just beyond awesome. Of course, you've seen probably uh, Robert England. He's just always, he's he's not, for years, been, this movie's been out 40 years, and he's, he just owns this role. He's, he's, he does not care being referred to as the Freddy Krueger guy, because he is that guy. He would play this role in every single Nightmare on Elm Street movie, except for the remake with Jackie Earl Haley and, and much respect to him. I just don't like that remake. It just isn't me. I don't like it. it has nothing to do with Jackie Earl Haley. I love that actor as well. By the way, he did a he did it. He did try out for a part in this movie. We'll get to that here in a little bit. So, Robert England, you're the shit. I love you. If you were here right now, I I I'd give you a big hug. I'd make you an omelet. Maybe even get you a cup of soup. Whatever you want, I'll try to make it for you. Okay. Heather Langenkamp, the final girl, one of the top final girls of all time, playing Nancy. Of course, this girl, she starts off kind of weak. She comes tough in the end. I love her. I love her. She's still, she's another actress who does not mind being remembered as Nancy from Nightmare on Elm Street. She would repri reprise this role in part three, and she would also um, be in the movie. Wes Craven's New Nightmare, which is a different take. She plays herself in it. Who else? Did I, know? I mentioned Johnny Depp earlier, or did I? Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I've been up for days, like I said. But Johnny Depp, this is his first big movie. He plays he plays the friend of uh, Nancy, and he gets eaten by a bed when he has a nightmare. And the bed regurgitates his blood and fillings and guts and bones all over the, the ceiling. Even And nobody can explain it, even though everyone, all the kids know it's this Freddy Krueger guy doing it. But... When he when he tried out for this role, Jackie Earl Haley actually wanted this role, but they went with him instead. So this could have been Jackie Earl Haley, but he still wound up in this franchise in 2010 for A Nightmare on Elm Street, the remake. And also we have a John Saxon. He is a 
he's a great actor. Um, he's been in a lot of stuff. Look him up if you ever get the time. But he he is the perfect cop dad, in my opinion, in this movie. He's the he's the father of Nancy, and he is just such a good, uh, really good acting by this guy. I love him. I love him. So let's get to the nits and gritty of this. Why are we giving some nits and gritty? Now it's time for some some of that some of the guts. Let's give you some of that guts. We got a one point one million dollar budget. You want to know what this small independent movie made? Fifty-seven million fucking dollars. Yes, and this movie took a while because uh, people kept rejecting. Even Disney was approached with this script, and they almost took it and wanted a PG thirteen version of it. Wes Craven denied it. Thank God. And uh, New Line Cinema ended up picking it up, so they released it. And uh, the whole Freddy Krueger thing about people getting murdered in their sleep is based on stories uh, Wes Craven read about about these um. These immigrants who were just, they, these immigrants were caught and they were just, they were finding out these studies about these kids dying in their sleep. Like somehow like having a heart attack while they're sleeping. It was really odd and strange and he just put it into his movie. And there was also a creepy old man when he was a kid. Uh, he got the idea of how Freddy, he just got this weird feeling from this creepy old guy. And the basic look of that guy is what he got from Red, Freddy Krueger. And the name Freddy Krueger is from this little snot-nosed kid that used to peck on him in school. So that kid's name, because, you know, he's the ultimate bully. I want to make him the ultimate evil in this movie. So that's cool. I like when directors, you, that's what they're supposed to do. Take things from their life, incorporate it into their art. And it's most of the time it works out pretty, pretty damn well. Um, and he, he, when he picked Robert England, he just knew right away, you know, he just kind of like, he had that Weasley look. I, I, read, I looked it up. He said he had a Weasley look. And uh, <laughs> I guess you're right. He does kind of look Weasley. And, um, he, so he tried out, he tried out and he got it. And, uh, there were 500 gallons of fake blood used in this movie. 500 fucking gallons. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. I, I enjoy that. It's not as much, that's not as much as dead alive, but it's still pretty, pretty cool. And the ending, everyone makes fun of the ending when the mom gets yanked out the, 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 the whole dream sequence. Is it real? Is it not real? Well, that, there, was, there was originally five different ways they were going to go with that. They were going to try to go with the thing where Freddy drove away in the car and he was just, you know, the kids were screaming, but they didn't like it. And then eventually decided to have a fake-ass looking blow-up doll get pulled through the fucking window of the front door. The mother, Nancy's mother. And to this day, people bash it, but it's it, it's a 40-year-old movie. We're not going to George Lucas it and go and change it and CGI it. Fuck, sorry. All right. Blow a cow and suck a fat one. Okay, let's get to it now. All right, here is a clip from one of the greatest horror movies of all time. A Nightmare on Elm Street. Bitch. <laughs> burnt up, burnt up, uh, Nightmare Man going to get a uh, high school girl. <laughs> it looks like uh, someone dragging a tampon to the hallway. Ha, ha, ha. Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984, Mother Taco. I remember sitting in my uh, aunt and uncle's house. Pretty sure they were watching this, too. I remember this scene. It, it scared the shit out of me. I ran into my cousin's room and... Where's your cousin? Pretty sure he made fun of me and said I was a bitch. Picking on me. I was like three years old, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, look at that stick. I like how she's doing like a Macaulay Culkin, Kevin McAllister type shit here. This is, this is good. I mean, she's, she had the guts to take out Freddy Krueger. Come here, bitch. Well, if you want to watch this movie, it is on Max right now. Or you can have your friend Lee or Jimbo uh, bootleg it for you. Well, I give this movie five out of five. Dog dicks. <coughs> Bitch.